Today, we're going to take a brief look at our ICE Contact Center and how it works with Microsoft Teams. We'll start with the voice call. All of the experiences we're going to see are native within Teams, so we'll have a familiar look and feel as we go. Now, the benefit of using Teams is your phone system is using the platform as it's meant to be used, as a communications tool. If your organization is using Teams, you're likely already familiar with this interface. Our states and stats, any actions for the agents provided on our contact cards within the buttons they have on them. Our agent here is shown in ready state, waiting for a voice call to come through. As you can see, our agent is receiving a call. A toast window is appearing on the bottom right of our screen when there's an incoming call. The contact card is updating with the information of the caller, showing the name, the caller's phone number, which queue it came from, and who's previously handled calls with this individual. All important info coming over from ICE Journal and your connected CRM. To answer the call, we're going to click on the phone button on the window. The call will then open in our Teams window, connecting me, the agent, with the caller within Teams. As you can see, we're staying within Teams the entire time, allowing for a fluid interaction for your agents. We have the contact history coming through to your agents from ICE Journal and CRM integrations directly onto that contact card, allowing for the agent to be able to quickly and easily see all the information they would need to best handle that interaction. Now to take a look at the IM functionality. This feature is great. It's all happening within this single pane. The interactions themselves, as well as the recording, reportering, and monitoring. Starting here, our agent is in an alerting state, shown through the cards. Now we can see a notification coming through. There is someone within our IM queue. And again, our agent is seeing this without having to leave their team's window. Clicking the answer button within the contact card takes the agent into the chat window where they can have this interaction, which is all being tracked within ICE's reporting tools. What's also great is the feature to have canned responses native within Teams, allowing your agents to quickly reply to easy, frequently asked questions, allowing them to handle more interactions with the time they save during these interactions. Now we'll take a look at sending historical reports into a specific Teams channel. These reports that are coming through the ICE reporting system, whether they are standard scheduled reports, or if one of your supervisors wants to generate a report on demand, they can be pushed into a specific Teams channel. The example we have in front of us, you can see that within a customer support team, they have sections for weekly reports, making them easily accessible for all members of that team, without the need of a manual upload or an email to get them there. That'll conclude our presentation. Thanks for joining us in our brief overlook of ICE Contact Center with Microsoft Teams.